So, good day, miss. Today, we will report about badminton and songka. So, first, we will start on the history of badminton. We all love badminton. It is such an exciting, addictive, fun, fun sport with only two rockets, one shuttlecock, and a good friend. You can easily spend a great afternoon together exercising. So, in this reporting, we will discuss about history, its rules, and how to play badminton. So, next slide, please. The history of badminton. Next slide, please. How did it begin? Badminton is one of the rocket sports requiring players to hit a shuttlecock across a net with a rocket inside a badminton court. Comes in two forms. Single, a 1 versus 1 game, and doubles, a 2 versus 2 games. You can play badminton in both indoors or outdoors environments. However, most of the world-class competitions are held indoors because they want to reduce the influence caused by external factors such as wind and lights to the minimum lights. These factors affect the fight, the flight rather of the shuttlecock. So if you want to be comfortable with your game, it is advisable to do it indoors. Next slide, please. The origin of badminton. Badminton could be traced back to more than 2,000 years ago. Asian game called batter door, bat or paddle, shuttlecock also called bird or birdie. Similar, similar games were played for centuries across Eurasia countries such as Greece, Egypt, China, India, and Japan. Next slide please. From this time, battle door and shuttlecock was just a game involving two persons, hitting a shuttlecock towards each other as many times as possible before it hit the ground. And it is used to be an upper-class game in Europe, including England. So you can see the picture of children playing battle, battle door during their time. Next slide, please. Nowadays, you can still find a similar game in Japan, which is called Hanatsuki. It is a very popular New Year's game involving a wooden paddle called Hagoita and a shuttle called Hane. Next slide, please. So, the development of badminton will be reported by Kath Cortez. Next slide, please. Its development. According to a brief history of badminton from 1870 to 1949, written by Betty Uber, modern badminton was created by British military officers by around 1850s in British India. During that period, when the weather is windy and wet instead of a shuttlecock, a woolen ball was preferred by the upper class and hence invented ball badminton. Next slide, please. By around 1870s, retired British Army officers brought the game back to England from India and it became a very popular sport. In 1873, the Duke of Beaufort introduced the sport at his country state, Badminton House, in Gloucestershire. Since then, since then this sport was called Badminton. Next slide, please. Equipments needed for badminton will be reported by Miss Gladys. Thank you, Kat. Next slide, please. First is shuttle tacks can be feather or plastic. There are two types of shuttle tacks, plastic and feather shuttle tacks. Plastic shuttlecock are far more durable compared to the feather types which, which are commonly used. However, plastic shuttlecock are only recommended for beginners who are just started up. This is because feather shuttlecock are expensive, expensive and very easily, especially if the wrong technique is used, since plastic 
Shuttle clocks are good for beginners to use for training. Plastic shuttle clocks are usually used by young children to play badminton for creation. Badminton rockets. So badminton rockets, kay, we already know that badminton rocket kay kanang gamiton sa pag saan sa shuttle clock. So next. Standard side badminton court, preferably indoor because there is no wind and sunlight. So, ang um, prefer sa paghampa o badminton kay najud na siya sa so indoor kay para walay hangin o di pud silaw ang adlaw. Four, a net that is set across the center of the badminton court. So, mauna siya ang magkuan sa balilinya kung if masud ang kuan if maghampang mo na net. Next, first sport where is it's okay if you are not wearing badminton, t-shirt, or shorts, but you should at least wear a pair of badminton shoes to protect your foot. So, kinahanglan na jud kay masuot nga badminton shoes para maprotektahan yung ang tiil sa imuhang tiil. Next, techniques of badminton. In the game of badminton, Next reporter. there are some there are some basic techniques that must be mastered as basic capital or initial capital to become a professional badminton player. The basic techniques in the game of badminton are as follows. Number one, how to hold a racket or grip. The most basic techniques of playing badminton is how to hold a racket. This is the main factor that most influences the quality of the punch produced. A beginner who learns to play badminton must really master these basic techniques first in order to proceed to the next basic technique of playing badminton. The way to hold this racket consists of two types of techniques, which are forehand technique and backhand technique. Number two, punch. Punch type commonly used in the game of badminton is the forehand technique. The blow using the forehand technique is done by swinging the body from behind the movement towards the front of the target, where the position of the palm of the hand is facing the shuttlecock. Number three, footwork. In the game of badminton, there, there is one basic skill that must be possessed, which is agility. A badminton player is required to be agile in moving. Not only the hands that do the blow, but also their limbs, including foot movements. This is because in order to do and produce quality and at the same time deadly blows between hands, body, and legs, a harmonization must occur. Good cooperation between the members of the body is not only we need when carrying out attacks, but also to survive the opponent's attack. Number four, body attitude and position. Attitude and body position re refers to the concept of balance. Not only agility, balance is also an important element in the game of badminton. Simple things and sometimes underestimated by ordinary people. But for a professional badminton player, they understand very well how important this balance element is in the game. Real, real evidence of the importance of the balance element in the game of badminton can be seen in professional badminton competi competition, both at the local, national, and international levels. Often, a badminton player is less than optimal or even fails to produce quality blows simply because their balance is not good. Number five is hitting position. It is undeniable that in badminton sport games, not only how to hit, but the position of the body when making a blow also greatly affects the quality of the shots produced. Number six, service. In general, service, service techniques in badminton, ga badminton games are done by, di by directing the shuttlecock to the left, right, front or back of the opposing player. The thing that must be avoided when doing this service is the responsibility of the shuttlecock and is right in front of the opponent because the opponent will be able to easily restore service while killing or moving. Number seven, return service. 
not only the pr procedure for doing service, service recovery techniques are also need to be mastered in the game of badminton. This service return movement can be done in various ways, namely drop shot and netting. The most avoided movement when returning a service is the smash is the smash movement. This is because the movement of the shuttlecock in the service movement is not too strong or sharp. So if we make a smash movement, the resulting smash is less or not sharp. Numbers eight, overhead. In badminton sport games, overhead is done when the direction of the fall position of the shuttlecock leads to the back of our standing body position. Furthermore, this overhead is done by hitting the shuttlecock as well as throwing and the racket is held using the forehand technique. Number nine, smash. In the game of badminton, smash is a movement technique that is attacking and aims to kill the opposing player's movements. The basic smash will be created if done with a high jump because in that position, we can get the perfect smash position. Number 10, drop shot. Drop shot is a movement in a badminton that is al almost the same as the smash movement, or rather the gentle version of the smash movement. Drop shot movement are also attacking and aims to kill the opposing player's movement. Unlike the smash movements are done with full, full, full force. 11, netting. Netting is one of the difficult movements in the badminton sports game. Even a player who is counted as a national and international class professional does not guarantee that he is always succeeds in this netting technique. Attack of at angle of attack. The badminton def definition of the phrase angle attack refers to the tra trajectory of a shuttle after it leaves the rocket. Angle return. Different ranges of position returns from a given position of the court from various angles of return to the shuttlecock. Around the head shot. Different ranges of possible returns from a position for a given position on the court form various angles of return of the shuttlecock. At attacking clear. The term describes a positive and somewhat aggressive stroke. The aim is to hit the shot deep into challenger's court area. Next slide, please. Rules, Rules and scoring and Rules. A player must wait until his opponent is ready before serving. Opponent is all is ready before serving. If the opponent attempts a return, then he is ruled having been ready. Second, the feet of both players must remain in a stationary position until the serve is made. Your feet can be touching the line at this time. Third, it is not a fault if you miss the shuttle while serving. If the shuttle cannot be cut and slung with the rocket. Six, a player cannot hold his rocket near the net toward of a downward stroke by his opponent or to interfere with his rocket. The fault is the shuttle at the instant of being hit is higher than the service waste or the head of the rocket is higher than the service server's rocket hand. The shuttle does does not land in the correct service court. The server the server's feet are not in the service court or if the feet of the receiver are not in the court. Diagonally opposite the server. The server step forward as he or she serves. Any player talking or fainting his opponent before serve or during serve. A serve or shot that lands outside the court boundaries passes under or through the net. Body or clothing, the boundary and service lines are considered in play. The shuttle in play in track before it crosses the net to the striker's side of the net. You may follow through over the net. 
a player touching the net or or its support with his body or rocket while the shuttle is in play. Hitting the shuttle twice in succession by a player team. Scoring system. A match is consists of the best of three games of 21 points. Every time there is a serve, there is a point scored. The side winning orally adds a point to its scores. At 20 all, the side which gains of uh, a two points lead first wins that game. At 29 all, the side scoring the 30th point wins that game. The side winning a game third first in the next game. A minute of inter interval between each game is allowed. In the third game, a player's change ends when the leading score reaches the 11 points. Player have 60 seconds interval. A two minute interval between each game is allowed. In the third game, player change ends when the leading scores reaches the 11 points. When the leading sc scorer reach the six points in an 11 point game or eight in a 15 pointer, if the players forget to change the ends, they must do as soon as they remember and all points remain. According to the BWF's law of the badminton, an interval of the badminton occurs when the leading score is 11 points. The interval is no longer than 60 seconds, but allows the players enough time to catch their breath and rehydrate. There is also a 120-second interval in between games. Next, please. Singles and doubles. Singles at the end of the game is 0 to 0 and when the server's score is even the server serves from the right service court when the service score is odd the server serves from the left service court if if the server wins a rally the server scores a point when the serve the serve when the serves again from the alternate service court if the receivers win a rally the receiver scores a point and become the new server they serve from the appreciate service court if their score even is odd and the right is even for the doubles a side has only one set the service passes consecutively to the players as shown in the diagram at the beginning of the game and when the score is even, the server serves from the right service, from the left court. If the serving side wins a rally, the serving side scores a point, and the same server serves again from the alternate service court. If the receiving side wins a rally, the receiving side scores a point, or the receiving side becomes the new serving side. And the player do not change their respective service courts until they win a point when they when their side is serving. Singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. You can have either two or four players on a badminton court. One player on each side on a team, or of two players on each side. One against one is called singles. Two against two is called doubles. In doubles, either player can hit the shuttle. You do not have to take it in turns. The difference between the singles and doubles includes the number of players on court, the court dimensions, and service rules. In singles, there is one player on each end and the court, while in doubles, there are two players on each of the court. The single game match in badminton features one player on each side of the net. You'll get more of a cardiovascular workout in a single game than in the game of doubles because you have the responsible of the entire side of your court. A game of badminton or the double is four, has four players, two on each side played on a larger size court. Servers in single games, the server serves from the left court. Next slide, please. Porter, thank you. 
Benefits of playing badminton While you're lunging, diving, running, and getting your heart pumping, playing a game of badminton can help you burn around 450 calories an hour. The varied movements provide a powerful cardio workout by engaging the entire body, including the hamstrings, quads, calves, and your core. Badminton helps in toning your muscles and improves your flexibility. It facilitates weight loss and improves metabolism and it's also known for enhancing your flexes and motor coordination. Playing badminton benefits not only your body but also your mind and improves your social well-being as well. Badminton improves the overall physical health of an individual. For the order lot playing, the sport can help in keeping their health's vital aspects such as blood pressure and cholesterol under check. Playing badminton will benefit not only physically but also mentally. Yes, correct. Uh, playing badminton is good for your mental health. So the social interaction of the game mangood it helps build confidence and result in positive feeling after a game. It helps reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. Also, it improves concentration levels and helps you become more focused, alert, and agile. Playing badminton engage your brain in a positive way by having to think about what you're doing. It helps playing badminton increases endorphins and a lot of for a good mental health. And that would be all. Thank you.